Hey guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a stripper vlog. I'm going to work two different nights in this vlog and I'm also going to a Jay Cortez concert in this vlog. Um, also a little story time about work uh, as well. So if you're interested, then keep watching. Okay, so it is Tuesday. I still don't have a voice. Um, I'm getting ready for work right now. Today is a mandatory day. I wasn't gonna go, but I'm only gonna go for three hours. So yeah, I'm sorry that I sound like this. Trust me, I don't wanna sound like this either. It's really annoying. Um, yeah. So on Thursday, um, Bay is DJing with Jay Cortez at the club that he works at. So, yeah, so basically I'll be able to go to like the show. Um, if you don't know who Jay Cortez is, he basically features in a lot of um, Bad Bunny's songs. I actually haven't worked in a week. Actually, it's been more than a week because the last time I worked was last Saturday and it's Tuesday. So yeah, I'm gonna go to work. Um, I'll let you guys know how it is, but I'm only gonna work three hours and it's a mandatory day. So I'm not expecting like the most. Okay, it is the next day. I went to Queen's Beauty Supply Store. Look at this outfit. This was what this was a uh, eleven ninety nine. Like, look at that. If this was at the stripper store, this would have been like thirty dollars. So yeah, Queen's Beauty Supply. Queen's has some good stuff. Also, these um, tights, these pantyhose, whatever they're called, these were five ninety nine. I might try them on for you, just depending on how I feel. Uh, I also got like a, a brush. This was like five dollars. So yeah, Queen's Beauty Supply. They be having some good stuff. Uh, but yeah, I work yesterday. I worked three hours. Honestly, I just went to get my mandatory day in. It wasn't like whatever. It was slow. Okay, wait. These are weird. Like you see how it has like the thing right here. They go like it's it's like two parts. I don't know. I'm gonna try it on just because I'm curious now. Okay, I'm only gonna show you a little bit. But these were so. Hard to put on. I just spent like the last 10 minutes of my life trying to put these on because they were so confusing. Okay, I'm about to head to work. Um, just this outfit always gets so fuzzy. Anyway, it's like 10 o'clock. I honestly was not really in the mood to work, but if I'm not going to work tonight, then what am I gonna do? You know, like I'm just gonna do nothing. So I'm just gonna fucking go. Yeah, I'll let you guys know how it goes. Okay, so it is the next day. I'm getting ready to go to the concert tonight, but I wanted to tell you guys about last night. Honestly, so much happened last night. It's just a lot to unpack. Um, and as I'm getting ready, I was like, you know what? Let's just do a little story time. So I'm actually almost like done with my makeup, but let's talk about it. Let's talk about last night. So first of all, uh, I met a subscriber. So shout out to Average Joe and shout out to your mom. Tell her I said hello, because apparently she watches my channel too. I thought that was adorable. So you were so sweet. It was nice meeting you. Um, another thing that had happened, okay, so I danced for a few people, but then I hung out mostly with this customer, well, this couple, it was a couple that came into the club, and usually I hate couples, because, like, usually couples are really weird, like, they're always on some weird shit, but this couple seemed really cool, like, the wife tipped me on stage, and so I went to go sit with them, when I went to go sit with them, the waitress was like, hey, they like to spend money, so make sure you sit here, and I was like, okay, cool. So I'm sitting with them and then they're like, let's go get some dances. And so we go to the VIP area and they give me $400 for dances, but I didn't even do $400 worth of dances. Literally the dances were like me, like leaning over the wife, like talking to her. And we're just like, basically like girl talking and like they're both messed up. So they're just like chatty Kathy and I'm like, you know, pretending to dance, but then we're talking. So it's like not even really a dance, whatever. So. After that, they were like, come on, let's go have some drinks. Like, let's go sit at the table. Let's hang out. And I was like, yeah. So we sit at the table and then the husband is like, I'm going to run some poker chips. And I was like, oh, perfect. And the wife is like, I'm going to go smoke. And I'm like, okay, cool. So the champagne 
what is he like the VIP manager I don't know whatever he comes over so he can run the poker chips and he pulls out a thousand dollars in poker chips he's like you're gonna hang out with us like hang out with us have some drinks whatever I was like yeah at that point it was 2 a.m. because we closed at last night we closed at 4 a.m. so 2 a.m. to 4 a.m. if you're paying me a thousand dollars to sit there and drink then that's that's honestly that's fair because I could be walking around making money somewhere else but if I'm sitting with you drinking with you and I'm getting drunk or tipsy or whatever um, you know it it is reasonable to ask for accommodation as you should and so I was like yeah that sounds great and so he gets the thousand dollars and the poker chips and I'm thinking he's gonna give it to me and he's like so you're gonna hang out with us right and I was like yeah that's what we're doing he's like no no, no. But like how do you feel about going to our place after the club and I was like "Ooh, I would but we close at 4 a.m. and I got here around 10 so you know I really gotta go check up on my dogs and like I just can't leave my dogs like I just basically blame them for everything um, so I was like oh I, I would but I can't they're like oh come on well there, he was like, well, come on, just hang out with us for a little bit, like maybe just like 30 minutes to an hour. And I'm like, well, yeah, I would love to do that. I'll do that now. It's 2 a.m. We close at 4. If you want me to continue to hang out with you, you're going to have to pay me for my time. I'm not going to sit here for two hours for free. You know what I mean? Um, I mean, I didn't say it like that. Of course, I said it way nicer. But he was like, yeah, babe, but me and my wife were trying to take someone home. And if you're not willing to come home with us, then I'm going to spend this thousand dollars on someone who is willing to go home with us. And I think that's ridiculous because if you're hanging out with somebody in the club and then they go home with you, I don't know. If you're doing extras, I think you should get more than that. If you're doing, you know, in the club and then whatever, whatever. Anyway, I was just like, okay, well, at that point I realized like it wasn't happening. Um, and so then the wife came back and I guess, I don't know what happened between that time. I guess he texted his wife. I, I never even saw him text his wife. I don't know. I don't know. But the wife came back and the, the whole mood changed. It's like she knew I didn't want to go home with them. And so she was sitting there like, you know, when you like see a couple and the wife is unhappy, I knew she was unhappy. Like she was like pissed. It was very uncomfortable. And it sucks because the couples that are always like, oh, we're not like that. They are they are always like that. So ugh, it really sucked because I really, really liked them. Like I was like I was loving the time that we had together. I mean, nothing against swingers either, because I mean love that. Love that. But I'm there to work. Oh, but I didn't tell you like how the night went overall, like money-wise. So my goal was to make five hundred dollars and I made um be like more than that. So I was happy about that because I did not have high expectations for uh, last night because the night before was a mandatory day. So I knew that Wednesday night it was gonna be slow. I knew that we weren't gonna have that many girls. So that means that we were gonna be constantly going up on stage because if you only have 10 girls, you're gonna be going on stage a lot, you know what I mean? So I was like, oh, I was just like, I don't, I don't like Wednesdays. I don't really ever work Wednesdays. Um, so I did not have high expectations, but I made my goal plus some, so, you know, I'm not mad about it. Anyway, I'm gonna finish getting ready. Oh, my speaker just turned off. So yeah, I'm gonna get ready for the concert. Uh, I'm gonna wear that same outfit that I wore in Vegas, the, the romper button up with this bra, because I didn't take a picture while I was in Vegas. I literally took like two pictures while I was there. I was really busy. Okay, that's why the vlog was only 15 minutes because I couldn't vlog everything anyway. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna wear, I'm gonna do a little redo on that outfit so I can get a good picture. But yeah, I'll check in with you guys whenever I'm ready. Okay, Bay is on his way to pick me up. This lighting sucks. But um, yeah, let's go.
So it's the next night, actually. It's Friday night now. Um, last night was a lot of fun. Honestly, it was a lot of fun. I didn't get a picture at all in general. Like, literally, I was like, I'm going to wear that same outfit because I didn't get a picture in it, and I still didn't get a picture. I'm really bad at that. But, um, yeah, a lot of fun. After the concert, uh, we went to a taco spot, one of my favorite taco spots in Dallas and I saw a street vendor and so I was like here I take all my money well not all my money but I gave him $50 it's just like okay sparkly shiny things whenever I'm drunk and a street vendor I'm like yes but yeah um the concert itself it was a lot of fun the one of the managers for Jay Cortez like the one that had pink hair she was trying to um get me to like take a picture with him but it was just really chaotic like there was like a private room where he was in and she was trying to get me in there but there was like other people in there that like i don't know i guess like work for him i don't know it was really chaotic she tried it's okay i'm not tripping it was still really a good time just one of the perks of having a dj boyfriend and yeah he had he was like djing before him and his crew got there so yeah so it's the beginning of my weekend i'm gonna go to work possibly i don't know i mean i'm pretty sure i'm going i got ready to see how I feel, but yeah, it's Friday night, so it's the beginning of the weekend. I will start a new vlog for you guys. But yeah, if you stayed until the end, thank you so much for watching. If this was your first time ever, I vlog my everyday normal life, um, and I take you guys with me before I go be a stripper at night. So yeah, if you haven't already, please subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.